Welcome to Coolant U, the 10-part video series that helps you reach a higher degree of knowledge about engine coolant. Made possible by RecoChem, your partner in formulating solutions. In Module 3, we'll focus on corrosion inhibitors, including how they function, how they define a coolant, and some application-specific benefits. Corrosion inhibitors are added to engine coolants. In many ways, this defines the difference between coolant formulations. Manufacturers create special blends of chemicals referred to as packages that are different depending on the coolant type or application. A corrosion inhibitor package only makes up a small percentage of the total coolant formula, but it has a big job to do. It forms a barrier that protects internal engine components against corrosion cavitation erosion, and scale. Three harmful effects that occur as water and glycol age and degrade inside a cooling system. Without the right inhibitor package, the lifespan of an engine could be significantly shorter, with an increased risk of failure. That's why when it comes to choosing coolant, the main thing that distinguishes each type is the content and quality of the corrosion inhibitor package. There are three basic coolant technologies available on the market today, conventional, OAT, and hybrid. Each of them are defined by the corrosion inhibitor packages they use. In general, these fall under one of two broad categories, inorganic additives or organic additives. Conventional or traditional coolants contain inorganic inhibitors, such as borate, phosphate, and silicate, these types of additives deplete more quickly, resulting in limited service life. Organic Additive Technology Coolant, or OAT for short, features corrosion inhibitors based on organic acids that have been neutralized. Unlike conventional coolant, OAT additives don't engage until the potential for corrosion develops. They only work when needed. As a result, organic inhibitors do not deplete as rapidly, allowing them to provide more protection for longer. Hybrid coolants, sometimes called HOAT coolants, deliver the best of both worlds by combining inorganic salts with neutralized organic acids. Some HOAT blends contain borate, nitrate, phosphate, and silicate, while others don't. HOAT formulations are designed for specific vehicle applications. Different types of engines have very different needs and require specially engineered coolants to function properly. Many older engines run just fine with conventional, inorganic inhibitor-based coolants. They are less expensive but deplete more rapidly, resulting in limited service life. Supplemental Coolant Additives, or SCAs, can be used to recharge conventional coolants, but it requires more frequent service and regular testing. As a result, manufacturers recommend changing conventional coolants more frequently. Additionally, conventional coolant may provide inadequate protection for modern engine components, especially those made from aluminum. Today, most modern engines leaving the assembly line no longer contain conventional, inorganic inhibitors in the original factory fill. Like all coolant technology, conventional coolant is also defined by the two basic vehicle categories, light duty and heavy duty. Different engines demand different additives tied to the design, materials, and construction of their cooling systems. For example, heavy-duty diesel engines are designed with wet sleeve cylinder liners. They allow the coolant to come in closer contact with the cylinder, making for more efficient heat transfer. But diesel engines vibrate more because of their high compression ratios. It can cause air bubbles to form inside of the coolant fluid. The bubbles reduce the amount of fluid that contacts the liner. This is known as cavitation, and it can result in major engine problems due to erosion wear. Diesel engine coolants contain anti-foaming agents in the package to help prevent this. In addition, conventional heavy-duty coolants use additives like nitrite, molybdate, or nitrate to form an additional barrier on sensitive engine surfaces. Conventional coolants with these extra ingredients are sometimes referred to as being fully formulated. In light-duty vehicles, conventional coolant typically has a lifespan of up to two years or 80,000 kilometers before its inhibitors are depleted. The service life is similar for heavy-duty use. A drain, flush, and fill, or the addition of supplemental coolant additives 
is required to replenish their corrosion inhibitor packages. Imagine a fleet of commercial vehicles. That's a lot of equipment to keep road ready. Conventional coolant can require a lot of maintenance. Fortunately, there's an alternative, organic additive technology. OAT-based coolants can last 10 times as long as conventional coolant. This is why coolants containing OATs are sometimes referred to as extended life, EXL, or ELC products. RecoChem Laboratories is among a handful of facilities worldwide that formulates engine coolants. Engineers are combining the best qualities from both inorganic and organic corrosion inhibitors to create hybrid coolants. In some heavy-duty engines, there are benefits to using inorganic additives in combination with organic inhibitors. On the light-duty side, sometimes low amounts of silicates or phosphates can be used with OATs. These are sometimes called lowbrids. Hybrid coolant can provide extra protection for the sensitive materials found in today's modern engines. While the combinations may appear endless, vehicle manufacturers have compositional preferences. We'll discuss OE-specific formulations more in another module. Corrosion inhibitors are invaluable for maintaining engine health. That's why leading coolant producers like RecoChem are laser-focused on constantly formulating new, improved additives that perform better. In this module of Coolant U, we took a deep look at corrosion inhibitors, including their primary function, how they define a coolant, and what application-specific benefits they deliver. In the next video, we'll cover the evolution of coolant technologies around the world and explain how to test them for quality. Until then, thanks for watching Coolant U, where you always reach a higher degree of knowledge.